Hello to everyone out there on the Interbums. This is Dalek Sex, and you're watching the first video of Apps Giving Week. Um, it was gonna be it was gonna be Sex Giving Week, but he got a headache. Joining me on the channel is regular Gamescast listener by a cat. Say hello, a cat. Hello. Now today we're going to be showing you. A new tactic for Clash of Clans, which I'm rather enamoured of. It's called Lava Loonian. It's a med it's um I won't bother to do you a, a a Balloonian video, in fact I might have done one in the past. If you want to know what a Balloonian attack is, then just go out there and YouTube it. This is Balloonian, but you send your lava hounds in. Uh, ahead of the ahead of the balloons to tank the air defenses for you, but this has two key differences that stack the deck in your favour, and I'm going to show you what they are. Pardon the ripping noises. Pardon pressing the wrong button. What you just do? I press the wrong button. That much I believe even your listeners are aware of. Right, let's have Sorry, a didn't mean to put you guys down. Look here. It just happened. Right, attack log. Now, the first thing we're going to do... One moment or help. All right, all right. I'm sorry, she's just uh, she's just restraining a prisoner. Yep. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to lure the clan castle, like so. And you can see there's some wizards that have come out of there. And the wizards will spell doom to a group of balloons. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to trigger it so that it dies right on top of those wizards. And what we've just seen there is essentially... A free lightning spell. You draw them out, you make a balloon die on top of them, blam! You've essentially got yourself a lightning spell for uh, 4,500 elixir, I think it is. Then the hounds go in, the balloons go in. I'm using a rage spell for this. <laughs> However, <laughs> what? Why nothing? I'm using a rage spell for this because I was practicing the uh, the attack when I was doing this. You shouldn't really need spells for anything up to uh, a town hall that has inferno towers, and that is why I've gone over to this way of raiding. It costs about one thousand dark elixir. It costs one hundred thousand regular elixir, and if you don't use spell more than well, you can use one spell. But if you use less than two spells, you can do this every hour. And it's strong enough, if you do it right, to three-star a pretty much any base. Mm. Now, let me just um, speed this up a little bit. There we go. And there we are. That's what she said. She's not coming back. <laughs> 31 trophies. Lovely. Now... That's how you do with the clan castle, which, by the way, not only saves you a lot of elixir, but also frees up an extra spot in your spell factory, because you are not having to bugger about with... Oh. Stop touching the buttons. Uh, you don't have to bugger about using up a spell slot with a, with a lightning spell. Now, the next strategy we're going to do is how to basically win a quarter of the battle before you even start. If I just go to my attack logs here... Uh, where are we? Here we are. Now then, what we're going to do here... We're going to go in with the heroes with the aim of taking out the Archer Queen and and one air defense. The air defense is the priority, but if we can get if the archer queen is on the way to one air defense, 
you are going to at least extend the effectiveness of your of your lava hounds by 25%. There we go and it's down. We'll just speed that up now. In go the lava hounds, in go the balloons. Um wave of minions behind them. The reason I have some archers in my in my reserve is to uh, move the clan castle troops about so that I can get them in a position to be landed on by a balloon. The reason I have uh, a couple of wall breakers is to clear a space to the to the air defenses for my heroes. Now um, I've got one more to show you. This is a attack that I basically buggered up. But the loot from it was still pretty epic. I'm going to show you how I set it up and I'm also going to show you how I got it wrong. Now, I started off by targeting the air defences on the right. Stop drinking and be funny. Stop playing with my ball. Should have brought my own microphone. That doesn't make very good radio, you know. It's it's, it's largely a visual gag. The, the, the unless you've seen the the, the blue microphone out of the side of Jim Sterling's videos, you're not gonna. Right there's where I fuck it up. I dropped my free spells before the Inferno Towers had targeted anyone. And if I just speed it up a little, you can see my balloons go straight into the Inferno Towers and all get wasted. All is not lost though, because uh, we're up to 49% by this point, so it's a one star win, and because we got the elixir storages, we got 2,000 uh, dark elixir, and a couple of archers, and here's where a few spare troops kept behind will really do you good, dropped on the periphery outside the range of the guns, gets us another 500. 2,500 Dark Elixir, uh, an easy 10 trophies, could have been 20 trophies, possibly even 30, if I hadn't been such an utter, utter knob. Don't say anything to that. Oh, I wasn't. <laughs>